Hello everybody. On this video, I will show you how to identify the boot partition in Windows 10 and how to differentiate between boot and recovery partitions in both GPT and MPR systems. Due to the similarity in sizes between the boot and recovery partitions, many users advance into further problem when they mistakenly selected and formatted the recovery partition in order to rebuild BCD file. This video will help you to select the boot partition correctly, so you can fix startup or boot failure without errors. I will show you how to identify partitions using command prompt from Windows Recovery Environment, however, you can do that even form inside Windows without booting into Recovery Environment. Let's start. Boot into Windows Recovery Environment. See the link of another video from description to learn how to boot into Windows Recovery Environment. Open command prompt. Type disk part and hit enter. Type list disk and hit enter. If you see this asterisk under GPT column, then your disk is GPT. If there is no asterisk, then your disk is MPR. Type cell disk 0 to select disk that contains windows if you have more than one disk. Type list vol and hit enter to show available volumes. As you can see, I have two volumes with size less than 5 megabytes with no assigned letter for both, and boot and recovery partitions may have size of 500 megabytes or less and may or may not have an assigned letter. However, your PC may came with both partitions labeled with either boot or recovery to help differentiating between them. Also in rare cases, your PC may came with a signed letter for one or both partitions. Now to identify which one is the boot and which one is the recovery partition, you have to assign a letter for one or both of small partitions in order to see their contents. Select the partition that not have assigned letter using this command. Cell vol x. Replace the x with the volume number of partition without letter. Type the following command to assign the letter to selected partition. Assign letter equals b. You can assign any letter rather than V if there is no another volume have the same letter. If you have another partition without assigned letter, select it using cell vol x command, then assign any letter using assign letter equals m command. Type list vol again to see if the letters assigned successfully to the partitions or not. After assigning the letters, type exit to close disk part. Execute the following command to show files and folders inside V partition. dir slash a slash b slash sv. As you can see, the V is the recovery partition in my laptop, because it contains the winrid.wim file which stand for Windows Recovery Environment Windows Installation Media. Note, if the Windows Recovery in your laptop disabled, you will not see the recovery partition among other partitions or volumes. Now, let's confirm that the M partition is the boot. Execute the following command. dir slash a slash b slash sm. As you can see, the M is the boot partition in my laptop because it contain the BCD files. There is a difference between GPT and MPR systems in the name and path of BCD file is following. In GPT or UEFI based system, the boot manager called boot mgfw.efi and its path is, backslash efi backslash microsoft backslash boot. In BIOS boot or MPR based system, the boot manager called boot mgr and its path is, system drive backslash boot. To remove assigned letters for boot or recovery partitions do the followings. Type disk part and hit enter. Type list vol and hit enter. Select the recovery partition using this command. Cell vol2. Replace the 2 with the number of recovery partition in your laptop. Type this command to delete assigned letter. Remove letter equals v. Select the recovery partition using this command. Cell vol4. Type this command to delete assigned letter. Remove letter equals m. Execute list vol command again to see if the assigned letters removed or not. In my laptop, the assigned letters removed successfully. Important note, your laptop will not boot again into Windows Recovery Environment and you will not be able to reset your computer if you have mistakenly selected the recovery partition then formatted it using format v slash fs fat32 command. The previous formatting command is commonly used to rebuild boot configuration data file in order to fix blue screen boot loop. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, leave a comment and subscribe.